what is meditation meditation is simply looking at a reality until you become the full expression of that reality listen let me tell you believers what you look at consistently i tell you you are going to lay hold on that thing in the journey of meditation your imagination is very important your imagination plays a very important role because god did not create our imagination in vain god created our imagination so we can picture things please can you like this video so this video can spread to a greater number of people on this platform thank you very much look at it the, our imagination speaks of the invisible realm the physical world speaks of the visible realm so we have the invisible realm and we have the visible realm if it takes the invisible to establish the visible it means that you have a lot of role to play in creating your world in the invisible realm before you implement it in the, in the physical realm and one way you do it is by your imagination you know the bible said something that shocked me the bible said in proverbs 23 verse 7 it says as a man thinketh in his heart so he is so it means that your physical world is an expression of your of what you think in your heart if you keep thinking success you keep imagining meditating on success i tell you the truth the principle of scripture will push you into success it says as a man thinketh it means that you can recreate your word by thinking this is this is scripture purely spiritual and scripture now okay let me shock you revelationally speaking the bible said in numbers 21 verse 9 in numbers 21 the bible said snakes attacked the children of israel it beat all of them and you know they were afraid that they were going to die so moses did something very prophetic the bible said moses made a snake out of bronze and did on a rod the bible said and he told them to look at the snake on the rod the bible said as many can look at the snake on the rod the bible said they were healed and god began to break this thing to me revelationally as many that were defeated by the snake bite when they looked at the defeated snake on the rod they got their healing god took their eyes away from the snake that defeated them to the snake that was defeated on the rod so the more they started looking at their problem hung on a rod the bible said that they overcame that problem the more you keep amplifying that issue in your life the more it's going to be amplified the more you belittle that problem the more it's going to be belittled look at look at what the bible said in joshua chapter 1 verse 8 that was why god told joshua he says this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth he said you shall meditate on it day and night that you may have good success so you mean that the secret of joshua's success was meditation he must, god told him meditate on it because the more you see it the more you become it have you forgotten the story of david and goliath you know goliath was a giant the, the, the children of israel they were running away ah look at the giant oh but david came david looked at goliath the first thing he uttered to him he said who is this uncircumcised philistine people were seeing giants david was seeing uncircumcised philistines David so much belittled Goliath that he went to the battle with a stick. Look at what Goliath said that shocked me. In 1 Samuel 17 verse 43, Goliath said, he said to David, Am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? And the, <laughs> He said, Am I a dog that you come? So, you come to fight me with sticks, a giant. So, David belittled Goliath so much in his mind that even went with a stick. And guess what? At the end of the day, we saw how David defeated Goliath. Meditate! Listen, when you pray, lie down on your bed, play instrumental. You know, paint the pictures with your imagination. Do it every day, every day, every day. This is how it works. This is the... Listen, your sight is very important in the realm of the spirit. This is why God gives you encounters. This is why God gives us dreams. Dreams and encounters. Because encounters stamping conviction. And conviction establishes consciousness. When you journey into the place of consciousness, the battle is won already. God wants us to be conscious. And how do we become conscious? By meditation. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Just like what happened in 2 Kings chapter 6, some soldiers came to arrest Elisha. And Elisha's servant was afraid. And Elisha said something that shocked me. Elisha told his servant, he said, Fear not, for they that are with us are more than those that are with them. Listen, you need to, you need to be conscious. Every day meditate. See yourself with angels around you. The more you, the more you see it every day, the more you'll be entering into that reality. You have to first see it with your mind's eye every day. And listen, don't assume that you are conscious yet. Don't assume. Because 
It is your results that will now begin to establish if you are really conscious. So you only should be practicing it. And in the day of battle, you will be shocked at the victory you are going to have. Begin to, begin to meditate on prosperity. Begin to meditate on protection. Begin every day, prosperity, protection, good health. Dim healing anointing dimensions in God. Verse 17. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man. And he saw the mountains filled with, filled with horses, chariots of fire around Elisha. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. So you mean that chariot of fire was around Elisha? Only Elisha was seeing it, but the servants were not seeing it. This was why Elisha had consciousness that nothing bad could happen to him. So whenever you are praying, whenever, only see chariot of fire around you. There's a, you, you will see it so much that you are, ah, yeah, yeah. you will be shocked at the level of angelic activities that will be happening around you. Don't forget, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Don't look at what the Bible said. He said the Lord opened the eyes of the servant of Elisha and he saw. Now the question I want to ask, were the angels and chariots there before? Yes, they were there before. The only difference was that the servant's eyes was only open to see it. So that servant would have died that day out of fear, not knowing that angels were around him. Because what activates the ministry of these angelic beings is your consciousness. Is that you begin to meditate on them. Is that you begin to see them with your mind's eyes around you. So the difference was not that the, the angel just arrived. No, they did not just arrive. They were there from the foundation. From the day he was born, they were there. But it takes consciousness to activate them. Just like what happened in Numbers 12, 13. They sent some men to go and survey the land. They saw giants. They came back afraid. They are giants in the land. Oh, we are like grasshoppers before them. But Joshua and Caleb came saying, Sal the Bible said in Numbers 13, he said, Caleb said, be quiet. He said, these people are giants, but we can overpower them. And guess what? They saw giants as grasshoppers and they overtook them. What you see is very important. Learn to meditate on things. Every day, see things. Give yourself maybe one, one month. I'll be seeing, I'll be looking at this thing per month. This month you will stay on protection. Next month you stay on prosperity. Other month you stay on health. Just be giving yourself like that. We have a long life to live. We have, let's explore this realm of the spirit. Please like this video. Oh God, I'm so excited about this teaching. Please like this video. Please follow this page. Please subscribe to this channel. All right. Leave a comment what part actually stood out for you on this video. I thank God for what God is doing. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye-bye.